All right. Hey folks, Peter here with BlackRock Business, and today I'm going to show you a really useful tool in QuickBooks Point of Sale, of course, and this is called Cost Coding. It's a special way on your price tag that you can know how much that product costs, but your customer won't really understand it. It's a special code. Ooh, a special code. Before we do that, don't forget to jump over to Facebook to our special QuickBooks point of sale group where you can ask questions or bring up errors or just look for advice. Hit the link down below and get over there and join our insiders QuickBooks point of sale group. And if you're on YouTube, don't forget to subscribe today so that you can get all the latest, greatest tips, videos, whatever on YouTube that we put out. It's awesome. All right, let's get into this. This is really simple. It seems complicated, but it's not. All right, here is my item list. And what I want to do is make a label, a price tag, with a secret code on it. Not a lot of people know about this feature in Point of Sale. You're going to go on your File menu to Preferences and Company. And then on the left-hand column, we're going to look for Pricing. <clears throat> there we go and right down here it says price tag code so it looks blank it looks confusing uh, I'm gonna explain it it's very easy all right so on your price tag it's going to tell you the cost of the item in small letters but it's going to be um, letters that were uh, substituted for what the numbers should be so it'll make sense in a second the easiest way to do this with letters is just to do the ABC's so on the cost code a 1 is gonna become an A a 2 a B and so on alright so every letter that you see in your cost code on the label will stand for whichever number here so you might want to jot this down or print this out or put it on your monitor or share it with your employees so that they understand what the cost code means the other code that is actually going to come out on our label will also tell you when the item was last received and most normally that'll mean it'll it'll be when the item in your hand was received so then you can kind of also tell how old something is maybe it's time to move it to the clearance rack right all right so uh, I'm gonna I, I got nurses scrubs here that are $12 cost and I'm I'll do the uh, let's see pen tester shirt as well which is 11.54 cost yep and we're gonna print tags I'm gonna print two of each and for your template keep in mind especially that you're gonna want one of the templates that says plus cost you can also add the cost code fields to your your custom temp template if you've created your own custom template so we're just gonna do regular size labels with the cost code I'm gonna do two of each I'm gonna hit print all right we got those right here and I'm gonna show them to you so that you can focus up okay so we said the nurses scrubs were a $12 cost now real quick you see where it says a B J J well in the code that stood for one two zero zero so that's twelve dollars twelve dollars was the cost for these scrubs now closer to my finger there is the date that it was last received and it looks like that field actually needs to be expanded because it looks cut off uh, but we have J G B B A J G B B A and maybe another letter because I think it's cut off so if we looked at our little setting here for the code I can tell that JG would be 0 7 so that would probably be the seventh month BB would be 2 2 
which would be the 22nd, and then A something. So it's going to be one, that's, if expanded, it would probably be 19 something something. So there you see it. We just got to expand that. I don't know why that was not done very well on there by default. But I think you get the idea. So very quickly, if I'm holding something in my hand, I can tell that this costs $12 and I'm charging $35 for it. And there I, I kind of understand right at a glance if I want to give a customer a special deal, maybe they're complaining, maybe I'm looking at it and they're like, oh, this, this button fell off of this shirt and so I need a discount. You can look at it and you can be like, okay, well, you know, I can give you $10 off that and you immediately know that you're still making $12 because of the difference. There you go, that's cost codes and that is an excellent way to kind of give yourself a little extra view on what's going on with your product right when it's in your hand. So great. All right, my name's Peter with Black Rock Business. I hope you have yourself a stellar day. <laughs> Bye.